Hey, what's up guys? Uh, episode 3 here of the uh, Season 2 of Survival Let's Play. Uh, I did a few things off camera here. Uh, I did mine a lot, a lot of resources. Um, but I am going to skip that for now. Because instead today, I'm going to show y'all how I make as much money as I do. Also, I did mine out, uh, oh, mine out a section over here for, uh, for my, like, underground spawners and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, today I'm going to show y'all how I make the money I do. Uh, I'm not going to, uh, tell y'all what the farm is at first, but I am going to go through and gather all the resources for it. So I'm going to grab, I think I need two chests here to fit all the resources. It is a it is a huge progress or huge um huge farm that I have to build. It is an automatic farm, and once you build it, you're set for life essentially, or set for the season. I'd rather. Uh, first resource here is a water bucket. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go off camera and grab most of the resources that I need, and then I'm gonna start building it. I'm gonna build it up here on this ledge, so I'm gonna clear out an area for it, and then go on from that. Alright, so I've collected up all of the resources here into this chest. Um, I would do this, I would build this on camera, but if I'm being honest here, I've got to watch a tutorial on how to build it, and there's definitely going to be a lot of screw-ups here. Um, but for reasons why I think this will be the best farm, is that if you go into farming, you can see that... Hold on, it might be in the blocks, actually. Where's the moss block? That's all I'm looking for. The moss block actually sells for $22, essentially, and then also the moss carpet sells for $11, and then if you go into the, um, I think it's the decorations, yeah, you can see that the azalea sells for $11, and the flowering azalea also sells for $11, so doing the um, moss farm is actually very, very productive when it comes to making a lot of money, uh, but yeah, I'm going to go through here. Uh, first off, I'm going to mine out a space big enough for this thing. Uh, I know it's it's roughly um, 18 blocks long. I don't know how wide it is, but I'm going to toss on my chunk borders real quick. And I'm going to go... I'm going to start building it. I'm trying to think how much I want to build, uh, how big I want it. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to build it on the ground over here. Uh, just so I have a lot of room, I don't have to tr um, go across all of the terrain to build it. So yeah, I'm just going to build it right here, build it just a few blocks off of this border so I can add a cool looking house around it. But yeah, I'm going to build it right here and it'll be awesome. Let's go. I have finished the behemoth of a moss farm. Uh, this took me about an hour and a half to build even though the tutorial is only 11 minutes. Uh, like I said, I am no redstone god or nerd, as some would say. Um, but yeah, uh, finish this up. Uh, pretty insane design. Uh, although, I do need to add in some hoppers right here. Uh, I'll lie to y'all and just say that I waited for waited for y'all to do this. But no, in reality, I just forgot and got, rem and got reminded by, well... The farm actually running. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab or add three hoppers into this instead of two. Uh, in the tutorial, it says you don't have to, but with this server and the lag, I kind of need to. Um, but yeah, adding those in will help help the moss, uh, the the um, composter get the um, bone meal a lot more. And then also, I'm gonna add in some manual uh, manual. Um, bone meal spots just so I can add my own bone meal in when I need to uh, because I feel like for how I've designed this and how the server runs I'm probably going to need to add my own bone meal in but this is the farm uh, lots of redstone took me way longer than I'd care to admit although I did already admit it uh, it stuff is already flying down there but I won't do anything with that until I add a storage system but this is the farm uh, I also put a personal touch on this one because the redstone in the video was too complicated for me, so I just did repeaters with it instead. But yeah, it fits into about a chunk and a half of space here. Um, yeah, uh, really simple. I will not. No, I want to say just simple build, but it really wasn't. Uh, so what I need to go through in here and do 
is actually grab a lot more blocks so I can create this storage system. Um, I'll make it out of, actually I'll make this one out of, hmm, I'll make it out of bricks. Get out of my way. Uh, I'm going to make the storage system about a, just like one block out of here, uh, although I do need to grab some spots here, make a water stream at some point. And yeah, uh, I'm going to do this. And I'll be back once I've actually built this storage system. Actually, no, I won't be back. I'll show you how to build this storage system. Really simple video. <laughs> really, really simple to build here. Uh, I can even do it. So you know it's very, very easy to build. Uh, I do need some slabs for it. So go through here. I'm actually going to mine this up real quick. Place the... See, it's not even that simple. I've already messed up on it. Um... But yeah, I'm uh, going to build this for y'all. What I'm going to do here is place a little barrier for where the water will flow. I think I've already, yeah, I've already run out of bone meal. I'm going to need to put some manual bone meal in there. Uh, but yeah, uh, build this storage system still. Uh, go out about eight or nine blocks, however much you feel like going out. And then I'm going to need to, as well, place chests here to align it halfway in the block and then I'm also going to need some uh, some deep slates not necessarily deep slate but walls to add on to this right here and so with these being added in I'm able to go through add these slabs in and then place in the water right here uh, that ice will let it flow all the way across and then this water nope, there will allow it to flow all the way to the end and this will be where I'll just put a little fire on it so I don't have a bunch of items not actually going into the system. Uh, but now, I'm going to go through and place a bunch of chests right here. Eight chests to be specific. And then I'm going to go underneath here and I'm going to place in a bunch of hoppers, which I'm actually just going to take away that for now, add in the hoppers. Even though I did line this up, to where I don't need to put the hoppers right here. Um, I would rather put the hoppers right here because, well, um, they will be picked up more often. Uh, so this is the little storage system. Of course, I am going to expand it down to the ground, but right now I'm out of iron and out of wood, so I don't have anything for that. Uh, but yeah, I need to collect some more, uh, some more bone meal so I can actually run this farm longer. I'm actually going to put these guys into those uh, composters real quick. Also going to put this hopper right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to toss these guys in here. So this thing will just keep going through, even though it... Is it getting filled up right now? Honestly, I've got no clue. Kind of confused. Is that hopper facing the wrong way? Oh, the hopper's facing the wrong way. That's on me. See, I say I can do builds like this, but I really can't. I already messed it up pretty badly. Uh, but now they'll actually go. Uh, let's hope this one's in the right spot too. Or actually in the right spot. Yep, I goofed that one too. So yeah, it stopped and broke because of me. Uh, because I cannot do redstone or anything for that matter uh but yeah this is the moss moss farm build uh if you want to see what it, how it works and how it actually how you actually build it uh i will link uh rayworks videos down in the description uh but yeah with all that being done uh i'm gonna see how much more time i need to put onto this video uh I think I might, yeah, I think I'm going to go through and actually fill in this entire storage system. So yeah, I'm going to go get the resources for that and get a bunch of wood, get a bunch of wood from this, get a bunch of iron from this, and then go on from there. All right, so I finished the um, storage on just off camera just because I feel like that's not something enjoyable to watch. Um, but yeah, uh, today, lots of work done um, up in the, the future of my I guess business you can say I'm getting a lot of money from this thing even though it is currently out of bone meal I'm gonna go through 
uh, hopefully make a skeleton spawner at some point. Still need to get some spawners. Although I do have that blaze spawner so far, and I'm gonna see if I can get um, get some uh, skeleton spawners off camera, uh, just because I can usually buy them, or I can help, or someone can help me. Like it's it's silence, or for instance, noob. Noob is actually very helpful with it too. Um, but yeah, hopefully get some spawners, and then I think next episode I might make a little vintage house around this guy. Just because I feel like that would look really cool and just have a little entryway here for a little maintenance area just in case this breaks. Like right there. Oh, maybe not. But yeah, uh, maintenance break, little doorway, and then like just a giant cavana to open all these chests. Because like so far, some stuff has gotten through here. Even though hopefully most of it is actually getting stuck up here instead. Because, well, that's where I need it the most right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to do off or not off camera uh next episode i will build a house around this thing hopefully i can make one look cool because i'm not the best builder either get some spruce wood make it around it and then get like bricks or something like that uh but yeah uh that's today's episode guys uh thank you guys for watching even though i didn't really build much on camera nothing on camera really happened other than building up some of this and explaining the farm uh thank you guys for watching uh this interesting money making episode uh, with all this being said, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have a friend that would like this as well, please share it to them. Uh, and yeah, with all that being said, guys, peace out.